Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So for starters, we want to say Happy Easter to you all. I uh, hope you and your families, friends, have a wonderful day today. Out here in Maryland, it is beautiful out. So Mrs. Untamed has arranged for us to do probably eight to ten Easter egg hunts throughout the day. We'll, we'll see what happens, but <laughs> we're definitely, definitely going to be busy today. So I figured I'd hop out real quick early this morning and make this video for you guys. Most of you are already tracking. I posted on my Instagram as well as my community uh, page here on the channel what I intend to buy next. So I've narrowed down my next vehicle to three different options. We are selling the Raptor, have the buyer lined up for this. It'll just be the Land Cruiser and whatever this next vehicle is before we move, between now and when we move to Northern Colorado in you know September timeframe. So this is gonna be down to the, the final two that we actually drive over uh, out to Colorado. So the options are, and in no particular order, I guess I'll just go year, oldest to newest. So in 2015, it's a 2015 Toyota Tacoma Tier D Pro in super white. The second option is a 2019 Toyota 4Runner Tier D Pro in voodoo blue. And the third option is a brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma Tier D Pro in electric lime metallic. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence. If I if I end up going the electric lime route, I'd be I'm kind of on the fence if I want to get the manual or if I want to get the automatic transmission. So another consideration there. But those are the three options. It will be one of those three, and I'm gonna leave it to you guys. So whatever ends up being the the top vote on the YouTube channel here on the page, uh, my community page, you can go down there. You can pick your favorite. Whatever ends up taking the lead, we'll say within the next couple days, will be the one that, uh, that I end up choosing. So, I've never done this before, I've never left it to you guys, but if I'm being honest, I, I'm A-OK -okay to pull the trigger on any one of, the, any one of those three. Um, the Voodoo Blue would be the only one that's a, a little elusive um, right now as far as trying to find one. I'm sure I could, it would just take a lot of digging to try to find one that I would like. So I would want to get one with less than 15,000 miles, preferably less than 10,000 miles if I could swoop one up. Uh, granted, I'd be paying a little bit of a premium, but I'd be expected to do that. I'd be expecting to do that. So the 2015 Tacoma Tier Pro, uh, the one that I have loosely lined up, if I were to pull the trigger on it, is $38,000. So now it's a 2015 Super White, and it has 22,000 miles on it. No accidents, no fender benders, no weirdness to it. Um, by the way, let me use this as a PSA. So whenever I buy vehicles, I purposely will always avoid any vehicle that has been in any any type of accident. No matter the how minor it is, even if the owner has photos of it, if it's on the Carfax and it shows up as a red flag of any type, I just avoid it, no matter how good the deal is. So that's just kind of my my rule of thumb, right? I mean, for resale purposes, you just have to avoid a, a possible headache uh, and, and too much of an ex explanation at the end. So that's my personal thoughts on it. Anyway, so 2015, 22,000 miles, $38,000. It is located out of state, so likely I will have to pay to transport it. So we're talking, we got, we got a dead dog here. What do we got? Hi, Zozo. Hi. Hi. Hi, Zo. Good girl. So I will have to transport it. It'll cost anywhere from 1500, uh, I guess maybe 1000 to 1500 from where I'd be transporting it from. So for for rounding up sake, we'll call it a $40,000 purchase. And that's kind of a tough pill to swallow, right? I mean, 40 grand for a 2015 Toyota Tacoma. And when you look in the inside, it is super bare bones, but I, I like that about it. Um, but most importantly, if we're being honest, I love the the exterior appearance of it. I absolutely, absolutely love the 2015 Tacoma Tier D Pro. Yeah, it, the fact that it's not Inferno, the exclusive color for 2015, the Pros, a little bit of a bummer, but super white looks fantastic. Not to mention, they are all equally rare for 2015. If, if I'm tracking correctly, let me know if I'm wrong, guys, but I am tracking that there's about 1,500 that were produced um, in 2015, so not many at all. They're very rare, and I'm tracking 500 per color. So you got Midnight Black Metallic, Super White, and then of course, Inferno. So if you do a nationwide search on any platform, any vehicle purchasing platform, he will, he'll be hard pressed to find uh, even just a few of them available. But the one I have found, I negotiated $38,000. I'd probably would have to pull the trigger on that within the next couple days. He's gonna hold it for, he's holding it for me right now, uh, but we'll see. Second option, the 2019 4Runner 2D Pro. 
So this is the one where most of you are like, WTF, what, what are you even thinking? You just sold two Forerunner TRD Pros like last week. <laughs> Why are you considering another one? So, you know, I don't even have a good, I don't have a good excuse for that one, if I'm being honest. But you, if you guys have been following my channel, you know I love, absolutely love Voodoo Blue on the Forerunner TRD Pro in particular, or on the Forerunner there. Um, as far as Voodoo Blue goes, you know, that was only offered on the 2019 Forerunner TRD Pro. Um, you know, they didn't put Voodoo Blue on any other Forerunner variants onward, which, you know, that used to be the case. It used to be, for the for the Forerunner in particular, you used to get the exclusive color on it the year that it was offered, and then you wouldn't see it anymore, right? You got that with Calvary Blue, um, that's, the, that's the case with that. So because of that, Calvary Blue is very rare as well. I just don't like that, that shade of blue. Um, you know, Voodoo and Inferno is another another example of that. In 2015, they didn't carry it over. But, I mean, Army Green in 2020, when it, when it was on the TRD Pro, they ended up putting it on the Trail Special Edition, right? So they, they kind of diluted the waters now. The TRD Sport now gets Lunar Rock, it gets Army Green. So you know what I'm saying. Voodoo Blue is, I think, the most rare, perhaps. Uh, maybe maybe Inferno and Calvary Blue are neck and neck with it. But Voodoo Blue is just my favorite. Bottom line, it's my favorite. Love the way it pops, but that didn't always used to be the case. When I first saw it, I thought it was a bit, a bit hideous, if I'm being honest. But grown to love it. I've always had a soft spot for it. I have owned one before, so there's the other kicker to the Voodoo Blue equation. I have owned one. Uh, it was a very, very short-lived ownership experience, um, but you know, I loved it. I mean, I absolutely loved it, and I would love to get another one if I, if it meant getting. A very low mileage one for the good price for the right price so anyways 2019 Forerunner Tita Pro sorry beat that dead horse the last option is of course the 2022 uh, Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro in electric line metallic this one makes the most sense just because what is brand new I love buying brand new especially TRD Pros if you can get a brand new TRD Pro for MSRP you know, why would I spend about MSRP or more probably for a very low mileage Voodoo Blue 2019 for Renner Tita Pro, right? I'm just paying a premium for a color and more, you know, outdated tech. So it's kind of on paper, it makes less sense, right? But when you have Electric Line Metallic, a brand new, only offered on the Tacoma Tita Pro for 2022, that color, uh, only on the Tacoma, right? Uh, as the Forerunner gets Lime Rush. So that one makes the most sense, especially when we're talking the price tag. You know, if I were to get the manual, I'm, I'm just spending right around fifty thousand dollars, know, give or take a little bit, right? Fifty thousand. It's only ten grand more, and I'm getting something seven years newer. I'm com I'm comparing it to the 2015 Tacoma Tierty Pro, of course, but seven years newer, zero miles. Um, you know, still equally special. Maybe not equally, but I mean. Still special, of course, because it's the TRD Pro and it's the, the exclusive color. So, on paper, that one makes the most sense, and, and it's honestly the easiest to get uh, for that price tag, too. You know, they're, they're, a bunch of them are hitting dealerships right now. You know, a lot of them, are, of course, are have markups on them, but they're quick to remove them because they know not everybody's clamoring for a green, a green Toyota. So, those are the options, guys. You know, the, the, the new Tacoma, the only thing that bothers me so much about that is... You know, the power plant. You get that 3.5 liter tied to that lackluster six speed automatic transmission that feels like it's hunting for gears. Um, it's just, it feels, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like having driven a number of, you know, FJ cruisers and of course four runners with the four liter V6, five speed automatic transmission, I've really have grown to love that particular combination. And I think a lot of us can agree, if you've driven both, you, you tend to prefer the 4Runner. Uh, just because the power delivery delivery feels more linear. Uh, it doesn't feel like you need to crank it up to high RPMs to actually get some, some useful power out of it. Where, whereas that is the case with the Tacoma. But then again, that kind of comes in the value of getting the manual transmission. I think that might be, that might be the fix to that complaint for me. Um, but still, I don't think that's necessarily going to fix the whole the fact that I need to wind it up to higher RPMs to get some good power delivery. So that's my only critique of the Tacoma. If you watch all my countless videos before, that has been the long-standing critique that I've had. So that is nothing new. And it's a bummer too, because on paper it has quite a bit more horsepower, quite a bit more torque, 
I think what, don't quote me, I think it was like 276, right? Or something like that, 278 horsepower compared to the 236 horsepower of the 4 liter V6 in the 2015 T Tacoma Tier Pro, if you're following me. Um, which is a bummer because even that is less than the 4 liter V6 in the modern 4Runners that the 4Runner gets. Same exact engine, same exact displacement, 4 liter, same exact transmission too, but we still get about 30, 35 horsepower less than that, which is, which is kind of odd. But even then, I'm sure I would appreciate that power delivery, that feeling, uh, driving experience better than the modern Tacoma. So there you have it guys. I belabored my points throughout this video, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, as far as the 2015 goes, sure I'm paying 40 grand, I'm paying a lot for it, but it'll always be a $40,000 truck. Uh, as long as I don't put crank up over 80 90,000 miles and you guys know me So as long as I keep it the miles relatively low under 80,000 miles I think it'll forever be a $40,000 rig uh, assuming I don't beat it up, which I don't think that's gonna happen, right? So Goodness is it's just me technically time time my money up and you can make that argument for all three of them. I understand um, The Tacoma the, the lime rush would be the only one or excuse me the electric lime would be the only one that I'd be kind of nervous about as far as losing money long term. Uh, we'll see what the 2023 colors look like if they end up bringing that electric lime into the other platforms, whether it be the Tundra, the Forerunner, uh, or even continue it on the Tacoma for next year. So, I mean, that has uh, that, that plays a role in the residual value of that, that particular vehicle, that option. The 2019 Voodoo Blue, I think again, you know, that's always gonna be a $50,000 plus color no matter how many miles you put on it, well, uh, under 100,000. I think it's always gonna be right around 50,000 and up as we move forward with inflation in mind too. So, yada, yada, yada. Sorry I turned this into a long video, guys, but seriously, let me know which one you would truly pick uh, and let me know why. And if you get a minute, pop over to the community page on my channel here and just click which one you think would, would be the best to have on the channel. So I appreciate you watching as always. Again, happy Easter, guys. Till next time.